touching me. Like, you be thinking you have all the brushes you need, and then you don't. little bit stressful okay I'm not gonna go on top of my eyebrow too much just like at the end so it's still gonna follow this like shoosh but then the inner one is just gonna be like a little bit different like I said this is the first time I didn't know what was gonna happen so I'm just happy I'm even trying this. It's pretty much all of that to say. The Itachi and Choji was kind of to explain why the butterfly look. But then Tsunade is to explain what I'm going to be talking about for the rest of the video. Which is the idea of like... I am my own demographic and not feeling bad for the kind of content that I want to put out or that I am putting out because like this is my world you just live in it but literally because this is Wura's world and I am Wura which means that Anything goes. If I wake up one day and the best idea in my head is about like football, even though I don't really know that much about football, I'm really just an Mbappe stan and I'm happy. I'm happy with that. If he plays, I watch. I know that my grandpa likes Arsenal and my best friend likes Manchester United. So if I see tweets about them, I keep up. I be asking them, hey, what's good with our teams? They tell me. We keep it pushing. But if for some reason I have an idea and I want to talk about them, guess what? I'm going to talk about them. So it's really just like not wanting to limit myself. Because that's rude, quite frankly. As you can see, I'm quite the creative. And that can come out in many different ways. So like, why would y'all want me to be boring, you feel me? I don't think you want that. So we're all just gonna, you know, support whatever it is that comes out of the platform. But there's also the idea of like, it'll come when it comes. I think I'm not staying in the lines. <gasps> I look like Harley Quinn or something, like, what? Is she even the one who I'm thinking about? Like whatever that character was, she used to have like black and red, like, she looks like a joker, kind of, but clearly the joker is the god. I don't know too much about DC, forgive me, she's DC, right? Um, but yeah, I already have a video where I kind of talk about authenticity and consistency, and it's like I don't want to be forcing myself to do content which is why this isn't just a pick out of the hat week or a ma week or a demons wear week like i was thinking about doing any of those videos and like i wasn't really feeling it so we did something else and i have no complaints about this like do y'all see how this is coming it's coming really cute after i cleaned that up um my q-tips 
So, like, I understand people who have, like, very distinct platforms, and it's like, this is what I do, that is all, don't expect anything different, we gonna be here every Tuesday and Thursday, 2 p.m. kind of thing, that's great, I'm all for it, but I'm, like, very content with not being that kind of creator. I really just don't want to put too many deadlines and like stipulations on myself. What do stipulations even mean? I'm not sure. Sometimes we just say words. This is where we make sure everything's even before we continue because that would suck. Like this piece is bigger than this piece. So we're gonna use the faraway meal just for a little bit. Nope, we're not. We're gonna come back. So that's all for shadows. Cause like liners is hard on my bare face. So I messed this up and there's already shadow underneath it and it's gonna put that down so I have a couple of liner brushes yeah so these two are the glam vice ones they came with these sets since I got the bundles they're nice they're small they're like pointed but then I also got some Sigma brushes also on sale and you can like compare the two they're like pretty similar so it's not gonna get much better than this but you can see this kind of like fans out a bit more and these are a bit more like they stay together and then I have this like waterline brush but I don't use it too too often just because like I don't really know how I want to be using it but I think what I'm going to do, because I might prefer the Sigma brushes, but I'm going to give the Glam Vice brush another try to use it for the black outline. And then I'll use these for the outlining of the bigger butterfly since I'm using two colors and I want to like mix them together. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> And then maybe I'll come in, like depending on how I feel about both the brushes, I'll come in and do like the white dots and everything in the brush that I prefer. So what I like to do with these is I have little cups of water like off screen and I dip the brush in it and then I like to just mix it until it's at a consistency where it's like making bubbles. So I'm gonna use a little bit more water Because you don't want it to be like too wet, but then you don't want it to be too tacky because then it won't move nicely. And I already know there's like no way I can talk and focus on doing this. So I'm just going to play. Oh, sorry, that's loud my anime playlist and we're just gonna go from there we are back this is technically week two of this video i did not know it was gonna be two weeks when i recorded but you know Tried not to make y'all sit in front of a screen for two hours straight. Um, so what I decided to talk about this week, just to like really, really, really pull everything together. Um, towards the end of last week's video, I kind of apologized for going back and forth between the makeup and the anime content. But then I took it back because like that's what I want to do. 
And, like, when I say, like, I'm my own demographic and everything, like, I'm here to make the stuff that I want to see. I'm here to make the stuff that I enjoy on the timetable that makes the most sense for me. So I'm going to be talking about that during most of the voiceovers. It kind of goes back and forth between, like, voiceover and then, like, me talking as I was actually doing the makeup. It all works out at the end of the day. And of course, like I will be continuing to talk about like anime stuff. I've almost finished Shippuden at this point, so that's kind of crazy. But yeah, I'm about to start talking again, so BRB. I'm going to use the darker purple first and go from the inside. And then I'll like come in with the... I'm gonna start with the lighter purple on the inside and then use the darker purple on the outside. Yeah, I wanna reverse what I have going on in here. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just like opening everything so I have extra covers to put the water in. I love this song. I love all these songs. <laughs> um, link will be in the description for y'all to enjoy, but I said I was gonna use the Sigma brushes for this. And you'll be able to see the like bubble effect easier here. So again, just dip the brush in some water and then swirl it. And it's interesting like how white it becomes, but yeah, so now it's starting to make bubbles, which means it's like nice and pasty, which is what I want. Okay. Gosh, this is like the moment of truth. So this is where, you know, I show off my painter skills with this liner and like clearly it went pretty well. Like I posted these selfies, little clips and all that. I was proud of myself, but I did not know what it was going to look like when I started. And honestly, like this isn't necessarily like an anime thing that I've learned, but just like as a creative pushing to find satisfaction versus perfection like it really makes all the difference and I don't want to say too much because I'm about to like talk again so hold on it's not supposed to go there but it's too late <laughs> so yeah that was like literally exhibit a of like if I had an exact look in mind when I started and, like, my goal was to be, like, perfectly lining up with that look, I would have been upset because I literally made so many quote-unquote mistakes as I was doing this, but because I was just looking to be satisfied with the look, like, I was satisfied when it was over, like, I had fun doing it, I liked how it turned out at the end. It's really simple as that, um... But, like, when you're chasing perfection, which is, like, physically impossible, you're really setting yourself up to be disappointed. So don't do that. <laughs> you're in my business. Uh, yeah, so satisfaction versus perfection. I'll probably, like, write about that versus talk about it. I miss blogging. But we're talking about anime. And I have definitely seen even more of the, like, importance of knowing yourself message show up in Shippuden. We first had it come up, like, for real with Itachi, but, like, Kabuto and Yamato and a whole bunch of other people that I'll talk about in a second. I just want to, like, ombre it a little better. So, like, I'm going to try and go in while it's still wet.
not really working by the way um so there's another moment of just having to charge it to the game um i could not get the look that i wanted but like it's really fine the look was still great at the end of the day um but yeah back to knowing yourself i somehow lost my train of thought so ah yeah there are gonna be times in this video where like it's literally just the music playing because i really like these songs so yeah just enjoy um and to narrate the makeup a little bit i really should have stopped i should have but i did not the bottom lavender is a little thick but you know we all want to be a little thick sometimes just that's life <laughs> But anyway, Shippuden, knowing yourself, I'm going to keep circling back to that. Um, you see with like all of these flashbacks that they're doing, it's like with these characters, especially the older ones, like Dai Sensei and Kakeshi, like saying that, ugh, seeing them as kids kind of made my heart hurt. But it also explains why they are the way that they are. Um, and that's like important, like if you don't know who you are. And why you are the way that you are. Not saying that like there's always going to be like a super pretty answer to the whys of life. But like at least knowing like what you do. If you don't know that like you're kind of a goner. Like let's be real. Because um, then you're just going to be floating around doing all of the things. Floating like a butterfly. <laughs> but, um, hold on again. No more lavender. That's it. I'm just gonna let it rock and then we're gonna finish. Sorry. So I only have like 10 seconds right here. So I'm just gonna remind y'all to like, comment, subscribe, notifications, all that. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow Raggedy Royal because she started butterflies and yeah. <laughs> it's like kind of hard to see the darker purple. So maybe next time I do this, I won't do the liner in a dark color. And I'll just like stick to a darker color. Not a darker color, a like pastel vibe. As I was saying, you don't want to be like running around the world just doing everything. Because like I said, like I know me, I know myself, I know what I want to be doing with these platforms. But if I were to be looking over at like other content creators, I would feel like I'm doing the wrong thing simply because what I'm doing is different. So it's like, if you're gonna let a changing environment shake you and who you are and what you want, you're quite literally a goner, which we do see in Shippuden, but of course, this voiceover is about to end in like two seconds. So I will go more in depth very soon. So this is actually going really well. Um. I think I just need to add like white dots on it or I could do like more lines I guess I don't really we're going to reference the other butterfly looks we have saved because I guess I could like add more detailing of like lines Okay, I'm gonna do that on the inner one. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do a bit more. <laughs> That's the best I can explain it. For the outer one, I don't, it would just be harder since I have like two colors going on. I also need to like go back in with the shadow and like fill in some of the black parts so it's not as spotty so pretty much we're gonna be doing more black right now like filling in i don't know if y'all can like tell like it's not super dark right there and then on the inner butterfly i'm gonna add some detailing and then i might meet i might leave the outer one alone we'll see how this goes just winging it i love that that's gonna be the title for this video just winging it so I'm going to dedicate this chunk to anime because I'm running out of chunks to do voiceovers on. But with Shippuden, man, this war has like 
just exited the realm of my imagination like just so many different times like Madara could have just killed everybody Obito is like trying to save the day but then he can't I'm just like what um but his moment with knowing himself that kind of made my chest hurt and like you saw how much Madara was able to play with him and just like um manipulate him into doing what Madara really wanted by making Obito think that's what that was what he wanted bro that's literally like a euphemism for advertising right there but don't let me get into conspiracy mode conspiracy is that the word yeah okay um but last thing i saw like you had everything with like guy sensei and just like it was very interesting to see him as a kid because before i used to like not take his character super super seriously like i thought him and like rocky were super cute but like seeing what he went through as a child and like even what his dad went through with like their lack of ninjutsu and everything just what they had to build their confidence in and like how strongly they held on to that that's like another example of knowing yourself and like what that can do for you um so i really like how repeatedly that message is being shared and you see it with Naruto and unfortunately Sasuke. I can't believe nobody's like dealt with him. He just walks back onto the scene and we're all cool with it, I guess. But um, now that they both know like this long, long line of reincarnations or whatever that they're involved in. And it's like, this is a whole six path family issue, but they both have a role to play here. And it's a role that they're playing together. And you can see how this is really like changing the tides of the war and just like how powerful that knowledge of yourself and your purpose really can be so that's kind of cute i think it's time to relax yeah okay so i'm going to finish off with the white dots i'm only going to put them on the black liner because the like purple liners are both UV and I don't want to put like a matte liner on top of it because then when I use my UV bulb it'll like it won't hit as hard okay I wonder if there's like a method to the dots doesn't really seem like it gonna go around and do dots but all of this to really say like i'm just making a lot of peace with how i'm using my different platforms how often i'm using them uh yeah that is code for i'm taking a break um probably just from instagram and youtube but just recognizing that like there are times when i'm really fired up to make content and there are times when it just is the most painful thing and like I don't want to be forcing myself and kind of like ruining the process for myself so you know just letting y'all know in advance but BRB I think we're good I'm actually going to do like a touch of a color green purple that I have on the inside this is the power palette y'all have seen this before multiple times in fact but i'm just going to use legacy it looks white it comes out a little bit purplish but i just want like a dot of shimmer on the inner corner because i love that but yeah, you really just need to know what it is that makes you you and stick to it. And then we are going to wrap up. Gosh, it's literally been two hours. But that's better than seven, like I've been saying. So whatever I ended up talking about in the voiceover part, I'm sure it was cool. Because I'm cool. But. I'm honestly really happy with how this came out.
I'm like trying not to do too much so I don't mess it up. Because that would be sad. I don't know if I want to do lashes because I'm like, won't that just cover? But I guess it's a lot. Because like, Pokey, I ripped my like smaller black lashes. So I have the same lash in chocolate, but like since I have so much black on my face, I feel like it might be more noticeable that my lash wouldn't actually be black uh and i have other black lashes i just it was easier to find the 20 millimeter so that's why we're using it a uh, life hack for me at least i like to make it a bit straighter before i put it on and then just like Blow it out, blow it out, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no regrets about wearing a lash. I don't think, anyway. Okay, maybe we should have let the glue get a little bit tackier this is so pretty i really like it i don't want to like overdo it and do a purple lip but I also want to overdo it and do a purple lip. So, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I just have to find my other purple lipstick. Because I have one that's like, it's not lavender, but it's like a lighter purple. And I think it'll be really cute. Whew, Jesus Christ. This was a feat. I did not think I could do this. And I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I'm really happy with it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> we are back <laughs> partially because i don't want y'all to hear me singing too well so i'm just gonna like turn the volume down on the voiceover and the singing we'll figure it out um but this song specifically is one that i've been listening to a lot since like making my anime playlist um it's from my hero academia you know like the school festival theme scene um and when I first watched it, I was like, dang, that made me feel emotions. But then, like, going back to it and really looking at the lyrics, like, made it hit even harder. Um, of course, I don't have them pulled up, but I'm pretty sure I can just remember. It starts off like, who, who am I to be? Like, what is my calling? I gave up giving up. I'm ready to go kind of thing. And just the idea of, like, the person singing is very much focused on themselves and what they're supposed to be. And clearly that's like the thesis statement of like this whole video. Um, but in the chorus, they also say like, strength doesn't make a hero. And I think that's really important because like, if you've watched My Hero Academia, like you would understand why that lyric is there. But just like in general, it's like, what is it that's going to make you 
that person who can do what needs to be done like what's driving you what's keeping you going um i can see i'm talking in the video i wonder what i was saying well um maybe it was just about the lipstick but um yeah just listening to that song has really you know touched my little heart and made me want to just focus on me focus on my my goals my aspirations my calling all that my relationship with god my relationship with myself with my friends like there's so much in this life that you're not gonna get a second chance on and like if you don't know your priorities like stuff is gonna pass you by um so yeah i guess that's just like not a word of warning but like a check-in reminder or whatever um make sure to stick to what's important to you for the right reasons but like be flexible i feel like i'm like being christina giving my like advice to my child because that's all i can do Whew, that was a bit sad um but yeah okay i'm done for real this time <laughs> enjoy the rest of the video The thing with this one is like you can't really you know the thing where you like close your lips together to spread it around like that's definitely hit or miss so I'm just gonna let this set and then I'll put the gloss on top once I find where I put the gloss. How do I lose everything?
Y'all get the idea. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this better. Like, y'all get the idea, right? It's glowing. Um, clearly the lavender is a bit louder, but I'm not mad at it. Like, this looks really cool. Okay. of having long braids right so that is my double butterfly you know it took a while but we did that i really appreciate you guys watching <laughs> all of this but i think it came out really cool we will be keeping this makeup out of the carved out coconut thing going because this was really fun and I'm glad I didn't put this look off because I wasn't going to do it for a while. Um, but yeah, please, please, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification, share this with your friends. If you liked the anime part, tell me. If you liked the makeup part, tell me. If you liked both, please tell me because like, I'm looking for other people within my demographic because that's really why we're here. But this was fun. I'll be posting selfies, so like, follow me on Instagram and possibly Twitter for those. But until next time. <laughs>